the turbine rotor of a ship has a mass of 3500 kg it has a radius of gyration 0.45 meter and a speed of 3000 rpm okay so first line itself mass is given m so this is your mass this is a radius of gyration k and this is your spin speed of the rotor n okay in clockwise and looking from the stern so first case okay determine the gyroscopic couple and its effect upon the ship when there are two questions okay when the ship is steering to the left on a curve of 100 meter radius at a speed of 36 km per hour this is case one question one second question when the ship is pitching in a simple harmonic motion the bow falling with its maximum velocity the period of pitching is 40 seconds this is your time period for pitching okay and the total angular displacement is between the two extreme position is 12 degree okay so mean is 6 degree half of that is 6 degree is your pi value okay we have seen that in that diagram so list down the given data mass radius of gyration speed 3000 rpm and the omega of that is 314.2 right let's move into the problem uh, when the ship is steering to the left first question i am taking so radius of the path of the turn is 100 meter so velocity with which your ship is traveling on the curve is 36 km per hour. Now convert this into meter per second. 36 km per hour, 36 into 1000 divided by 3600. It comes around 10 meter per second. Okay. Mass moment of inertia of the rotor I equal to mk square. Mass is uh, 3500 kg multiplied by k is radius of gyration 0.45 given. So therefore it comes around 708.75 kg meter square is the moment of inertia of your rotor. So angular velocity of precession is uh, convert the 10 meter per second into radians per second. Okay. Uh, omega equal to V by R. Do you understand or not? So this is my precessional velocity and steering to left. My rotor is spinning at 3500 or 3000 rpm. That is first speed omega. What is omega P? At what speed you are traveling in that curve? Okay. That is 10 meter per second. But I want angular velocity. Omega P not VP. So this divided by this radius will give you omega P. <coughs> v by r omega equal to v by r <coughs> so that is v by r so this is 10 meter per second this is 100 meter so 10 by 100 is 0.1 radians per second is your omega p so gyroscopic couple i omega omega p so i is 708 uh, you have calculated here 708 that 708 i am putting here i omega is the propeller speed 3500 rpm in converted into radians per second that is 314.2 radians per second Omega P is this V by R 0.1 radians per second. So my active gyroscopic couple is 22,270 Newton meter or 22.727 Newton kilo Newton meter. So that is 22.27 kilo Newton meter. Now what this will do to your ship? That conclusion you have to give. Now, so remember the question. Propeller is going around in clockwise direction. When look from back end of the ship. Now I am going to take a turn to left. Now you go back to the tabulation and see. You will see that. When the rotor rotates in clockwise looking from stern, ship takes a left turn. The effect of reactive gyroscopic couple is to raise the bow and lower the stern. Front end of the ship will go up, back end will go down. Pitching will, will be the end result of this motion. Okay, clear? Now we are going into the second question. This conclusion carries a separate mark in the answer. Key. You have to write this statement. Just don't give 22.27 kN meter and then you, you cannot skip to the next question. This result is very important. Okay, conclusion statement. Next. When the ship is pitching with the bow falling, front end of the ship is falling down for the same rotor spin. Now what will happen? The ship will roll. We know the result. Okay. Either it will roll to the port side or starboard side. What is the value of couple and that, to which side it will roll? You have to write. Okay. So time period of the oscillation, simple harmonic oscillation about the center of the ship is given as 40 seconds. Uh, since the total angular displacement between the extreme positions of pitching is 12 degree, I am going to that is 2 pi. If you look at the diagram they would have given in the book, there, there is a ship and this is the mean position of the ship. So pitching above, pitching below. So the total is taken, the half of this is taken as pi angle, pitching angle. Okay, the entire thing together is 2 pi is 12 degree, therefore half of that is 6 degree. You have to take the value of pi pitching angle as half of the 6 half of that but angle between extreme question is 6 degree okay in some questions they will straight away give value of phi itself angle between mean question and extreme question will directly give but here is the angle between two extreme questions is given phi is 6 degree so 
convert that into radians into pi by 180 it's 0 0.105 whenever you are doing calculations with angles you have to convert that immediately into radians don't do calculations with degree okay so angular velocity of simple harmonic motion is 2 pi by time period this you already know from the vibration unit principle okay so therefore 2 pi by 40 seconds your precisional velocity pitching velocity is <coughs> 2 pi by 40 seconds that comes around 0 0.157 radians per second now you can easily find out the value of I omega omega p. Omega you already know. Rotor spin speed. Okay. Angular velocity of precision is. Uh, <coughs> sorry. I think I made a mistake. So with this pitching speed. You have to calculate the precision speed as phi into omega 1. That uh, you have seen the introduction of pitching. Right. Phi is the angle 6 degree. 0 0.1 radian. Uh, radians only have to substitute the pitching angle here. Okay. Uh, into omega 1. So. 0 0.105 is the radian for the angle and this omega 1 that uh, what is omega 1 time period simple harmonic motion time period is 2 pi by 40 that 0 0.1 by 1 radians per second that I am taking precisional angular velocity of pitching is 0 0.0165 radians per second clear now this formula you remember omega p equal to pitching angle into pitching velocity how did I get this pitching velocity simple harmonic motion 2 pi by time period of pitching so now I will get the precisional angular velocity. Clear? So, gyroscopic couple I omega omega p. So, this second omega, first omega is your rotor spin speed. This is constant 3500 rpm. Okay. This omega p, 3000 rpm, sorry. This omega p is this one. Phi into omega 1 for pitching. 0.0165. So that is 3675 Newton meter or 3.615 kilo Newton meter. <coughs> it's the active couple. <coughs> now I have to result, write the conclusion statement. When the bow is falling with the rotor going around in clockwise, okay, what will happen? Ship will turn towards the port side or left side. Okay, that is my conclusion statement. That completes the problem. It's taken from your Hermit textbook problem, example 14.6.